My name is Jacob and I work for Northwest River Supplies. I'm a touring kayaker. I predominantly paddle off the coast of Washington and I'm here to talk to you about some of the apparel that I like to wear in the late summer, early fall seasons. Two things that are very important to remember are that you always need to be wearing your PFD if you're on the water and especially this time of year you need to remember that you need to dress for the swim. Water actually pulls heat away from your body about 25 times more efficiently than air so it's very important to dress for whatever the water temperature is. It may be sunny and warm out but if the water's cool you need to be prepared for the swim. I like to start off my base layer with some type of an insulating top. I personally prefer to wear merino wool because because it feels soft against my skin. Um, but I also sometimes use uh, any of the synthetic base layers, like our Hydrosilk or our Wave Life. All of these options are gonna help keep you dry by wicking the moisture away from your skin. On top of my insulating base layer, I like to wear some type of a semi-dry top. I personally like the Stampede jacket because it's got a neoprene uh, gasket on the top that's gonna keep out just about all the water. It's gonna make me feel a little bit more confident to get out in the swells, practice my rolling in the surf, uh, things like that. This does have the tunnel on it, which I like because I can tuck it down into my spray skirt and it's gonna keep just about all of the water off. If the conditions start to pick up, maybe storm rolls in, you start getting a little bit more splash up on your deck. I like to toss a splash jacket on over the top of my light semi-dry top. Uh, this is just gonna add one more layer of protection against the wind and the rain. Uh, I like this jacket in particular. It's a little bit older version of our powerhouse splash jacket. Um, it's got bomb proof design. It's gonna keep out just about all the splash and once it starts to heat up, I can still open up the neck closures and the wrist closures and it's gonna let a little bit of the cooler air in and, and cool me off once, it, once the storm passes. On those colder fall days, I like to wear a neoprene type insulating base layer. Uh, unlike other base layers, this is actually gonna keep you warm whether it's wet or dry. Um, so you're good to go whether you're actually in the water or you're just out, or, out and around paddling. This is actually an older piece of hydroskin that I have. Um, I've had this for a couple of years. It's, uh, they look a little bit sportier and the newer versions look a little bit nicer, but it's lasted, it's, it's been durable and I've used it for, for a couple of years, it's been nice. I typically start out with this first thing in the morning when I'm carrying my kayak down to the beach. Uh, one of the other reasons that I wear this is because in the fall, it's easy to forget about the water temperature. You know, it may be a sunny day and you forget. You know, it's very important to dress for the water uh, if it's going to be cold, you need to have some sort of a base layer that's going to insulate you and keep you warm if you do end up going into the water. On top of my neoprene insulating base layer, I like to wear a touring specific splash jacket. Uh, the jacket that I chose and is actually my favorite piece of paddling apparel is the Level 6 Chilco splash jacket. If it starts getting rainy and rainy and cold out like it often is where I paddle, uh, I like it that it mates up, it mates up really well with my, with my spray skirt. It's got the tunnel and then it also cinches down around your tunnel so it's going to keep out all the water. Um, I actually practice rolling in this thing even though it's not a dry top because it does it does keep out the water that well. Um, if it starts raining, you start getting swells, you start getting a lot of uh, precipitation, this is the jacket that I turn to. It, it keeps the water out and it's going to keep me warm underneath there. Uh, if the sun starts to come out after, uh, after a little bit of a storm, I'll take off the hood and I actually open up the neck all the way down and it's going to give you quite a bit of breathability. It's going to let some of the, let some of the cool air in and really cool off your core. During late summer and early fall, I like to wear a light insulating glove or mamba. Uh, I want something that's not going to be too bulky, but is also going to keep my hands warm. Uh, I specifically like the Hydra Skin Mamba um, because it's going to give me direct hand control right onto the paddle so I can feel it when I'm making moves, when I'm feathering the paddle, and it's also going to keep my hands warm. If these mambas start to get a little bit too warm on your hands, you can just kind of roll them down and it's going to let a little bit more air inside of them and uh, yet it's still going to keep your actual fingers warm. When the water and the weather start to begin a little bit too cold for me to be wearing my chacos or my sandals, I like to reach for a pair of insulating wet shoes, something that's going to keep my foot warm whether it's wet or dry. When I'm touring kayaking, I like to wear the Sasquatch. On the Sasquatch shoe, I really like the Hydro Cuff. Um, unlike a lot of other water shoes, it's going to form around the top of your ankle and it's going to keep Pretty, cl pretty close to waterproof seal over the top of your ankle. It's nice to get into your boat with dry feet. Uh, these shoes have a wide toe box, so they're gonna feel really comfortable all day on my foot braces inside my kayak. It lets my feet stretch out a little bit while still giving me support. Uh, I like these because they're very durable. Um, I can put them on when I'm at the car and still carry my boat down to the beach. They've got a little plastic shim inside there that you know kind of protects your foot. And I also like them because I can really lock them down uh, it's, they're not like a lot of other water shoes where you feel like you're moving around quite a bit in them. Uh, these, these feel very, they, they give quite a bit of lateral support. 
These are some of the pieces that I like to wear that are gonna extend my paddling season uh, from that late summer into the early fall. Also keep in mind that NRS does produce almost all of these pieces in either a unisex or a female version. If you have any questions about any of these products, either check out our website at nrsweb.com or shoot us an email or give us a call. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> man.